Hello and welcome to the subjects of the month for June. This month we're going to take a look at the report writer. Um, what would I use the report writer for? Okay, the report writer is there so that you can create your own user-defined reports. You can create filters which determines which animals are selected and you can store these reports so that you can access them whenever you want. Oh, brilliant. So I could do maybe a list for when I'm TV testing or maybe have a look at barren cows and, and the milk figures. Or perhaps if I had a mixed herd, I could put up all the different breeds and look at the figures that way. Those are all very good examples of using the report writer. OK, show me where I can find it. Right, we go to the cow's head. We then select herd. And we then go to report writer. OK, I'd like a list of all my cows who are not pregnant, their days in milk, their last calving date, their last production figures and their seven day average. Can we do that? Yep. What we need to do first is create a new list. And what we have here are categories. Now these are all the items of data that are available in the category general animal data. If I select a new category, I can just click on reproduction. And again, these are all new items. Now, if you're looking for something and you're not quite sure where it is, you can just type it in and then you can see the relevant category. So first of all, I'm going to select cow number. Then I'm going to go across and I'm going to select last calving date. And this is the way that we can gradually build the report up. We'll have a look at days in milk. And then we'll go down and we'll select status. Can I change the order of those selected? Yep. Yeah, if we highlight here status, you can see I can then move it up the list or back down. And what do the double arrows mean? The double arrows would move everything that's in that category so that it's selected. So we'll keep going and we're going to go and have a look at the current lactation. So we'll take lactation number, milk production to date. You said you wanted the seven day average. Yes, please. OK. Send that across. The SPP. Yes, please. We could also take, for example, the last somatic cell count and just build the report up. Now, at the moment, we have 549 animals on the report. But you said that you wanted to filter it so that you were looking at animals that are not in calf. Correct? That's correct. OK, so we move across now. I could either select filter here or next. And then we just select the filter. So in this case, it's going to be based on the animal status. So I select status is equal to, and you see we have no animals selected at the moment, and it's basically animals that are not pregnant. Now what we can then do is we can select another filter on the same item, and here it's going to be, she's equal to not pregnant, or she's equal to, here we're going to select aborted. And again, we can select another item if we want. And so again, I use the or. So not pregnant, aborted, or open. OK. 94 animals are selected. We then go across. I give it a list, give it a name for this report. So now that I've created this report, do I have to do it again next time? No, because the moment that we select this and give it a name, I just go across. This just shows the animal types. When I go to finish, you'll see here, that's automatically been created as a list. Brilliant. And can I print this list? Yep. If we go down to print preview. And can I export it to Excel? Yep. If you go up to here, that will then put it into an Excel format. Brilliant. So this is a list of all the cows currently on the farm who are open, not pregnant, and we can then see their production criteria alongside. And that's the averages all at the bottom. That's the average for those groups of, group of animals. That's a really useful report. If you want to take it further, for example here, edit list, I'm happy with the selections, but I just want to fine tune it a little bit. If I go to here, select days in milk, 
I can use these criteria here, not pregnant, aborted or open, but I'm also able to say, I only want to look at cows that have been in milk for 200. So now we have the criteria here and a second criteria. So finish, and there we go. Brilliant, that's a great report. Thanks, Graham. Very flexible way of looking at your data. If you have any questions, please call the help desk.